Hi there, my name is Jill Perry Ising, and I lost 125 pounds in the last year and a half. I started at the age of 50 on my weight loss journey. I'm now 52 years old. I started at 297 pounds and I'm now 172 pounds. And I started the channel because I know when I was trying to lose weight, I enjoyed watching other people's weight loss journeys on YouTube. And so um, that's what I hope to do for you is to give you a little inspiration like I got when I watched YouTube channels. And so in today's video, I'm gonna talk about what I eat in a day. Uh, to lose weight. I'll talk about my calorie count and show you how I put it into my fitness pal to keep track of my calories. Okay, I hope you enjoy the video and if you like it, uh, please give it a thumbs up and if you loved it, then you know, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much. I'm at work and it's the morning time and I'm gonna start my first meal which is gonna be a protein bar from Costco um, it's Costco's own brand it's a Kirkland protein bar this one is a chocolate brownie and let me just bring it closer so you can see it okay so this protein bar has one gram of sugar it has four grams of net carbs 21 grams of protein which to me is key 15 grams of fiber and uh, 190 calories I don't so much count macros, um, which is uh, like when you count in proteins versus carbs versus fats. I count calories because my I was so heavy. I was 297 pounds, um, down to 172 pounds now, and I did it purely just by having the theory that if you eat less calories, you'll lose weight. So I have this in the morning. In addition, I also have a bottle of water uh, with my breakfast, and I have a bottle of water with every meal because I think that it helps you to feel more bloated and it fills you up so that you eat less. What I'd like to do is, in the morning at least, and sometimes more than once in a day, is I like to mix these packets of Benefiber. It's a kiwi strawberry flavored Benefiber. And I like to mix these packets of Benefiber in with my water. Um, they're sweet, they're flavorful, they're, I think they're 10 or 15 calories. Um, I can't see something that small to read it. And um, I, it's another thing that kind of like expands your stomach and makes you feel full for a longer amount of time. So these have been very helpful in my journey. So in addition to my protein bar and my um, water with Benefiber in it, I also make sure that for every meal I track my calories in the MyFitnessPal app. So I'll load the MyFitnessPal app and then I'll go into diary and then go into breakfast and search for Kirkland's protein bar and the app will populate with all different kinds of protein bars and I'll select the one that I'm using. So Kirkland for 190 calories is what I'm selecting in this case. And then the app will show me how many calories and the macros for the item I selected and then it'll show me how many calories I have remaining for the rest of the day. And then when I'm being really good, I'll go back in and then I'll try to add the Benefiber Strawberry Kiwi Drink Mix that I put into my water bottles. So I'll search for Benefiber. And then once that populates, I'll select the Benefiber Strawberry Kiwi Drink Mix. And that's 20 calories and I'll click on that and then I'll add that and take a look at my calories remaining. Okay, busting out of work now, I'm gonna go out for lunch. So I'm heading into Jersey Mike's to have lunch. Before I decided to come here, I went online and I checked what the calorie count was of a mini BLT sandwich so that before I even walk into the place, I know how many calories I'm gonna be spending. Um, I know already that the BLT is, for the mini BLT is 480 calories, and then I'll go ahead and I'll mark that in the MyFitnessPal app. So I have to stay organized and know what I'm eating before I walk into a restaurant so that I don't overeat and order anything that has too many calories in it. So I just got back from uh, Jersey Mike's. I had uh, gone out for lunch because I never packed a sandwich this morning uh, before I went to work. So I had gone onto the Jersey Mike's website before I went out to lunch and double checked to make sure that a mini BLT sandwich uh, would be within my calorie count, which is I usually keep my meals to 500 calories or less. So the mini BLT from Jersey Mike's is 480 calories. So um, I checked that out. I also got a Diet Coke, so that's zero calories in that. So before I even eat, I'm going to mark how many calories this is in the MyFitnessPal app. So I do this every single time I eat something. Before I even sit down to eat it, I go into the app and I 
record how many calories it is. So once again here, I've opened up the MyFitnessPal app and I'm searching for the Jersey Mike's uh, mini BLT. That's a four inch sandwich as opposed to a regular size, which is a six inch sandwich. And so I scroll down the list and find my BLT. And like I thought, it's 480 calories. So I select it, add it to my day's totals and have a look up and see that I have 780 calories remaining. So what I'm saying is that you can still eat out and lose weight. Uh, obviously you're not going to have a big giant sandwich like you may have had in the past, like a 6 inch or a 12 inch. I'm pretty sure mini BLT is only 4 inches. And you just, you have to cut back, yet you can still eat out. So I, in the past I would have had like a 6 inch sub, um, even at my heaviest I probably would have had a 12 inch sub. I know that a mini sub um, of a BLT is um, 4 inches wide. And you'll find your stomach shrinks as you start losing weight, or at least I think it does. I don't know scientifically if it does, but I definitely feel fuller, quicker with smaller portions now. And I think that's just because I'm used to having smaller portions. So let's take a look at my lunch. Now you can see a nice four inch sandwich. BLT, that's plenty. I don't need more than that. Here's an example of a snack I might have. It's uh, just some Cheez-Its. It's 200 calories for the whole bag, so I probably won't have the uh, whole bag. And I'm pretty sure in the MyFitnessPal app it's listed as 150 calories. So um, I kind of only want to give up 150 calories right now for a snack, so I will finagle it in my fitness pal, whether I have a half bag or three quarters of a bag, whatever works out so that I stay within my um, a lot of calories for snacks. So I usually keep my snacks around 100 to 150 calories. And so my last meal of the day is going to be dinner. I whipped together a meatloaf and that is with uh, two pounds of 90% fat-free lean ground beef. And so at two pounds, I'm figuring we'll get about eight slices out of that, four ounces per slice. So I'll go into my fitness pal and figure out how many calories that'll uh, count as. And then I'll be starting that with a baked potato. And then I made a sauce with uh, ketchup, Dijon mustard, and Worcestershire sauce. And then what I'll do is I'll throw some broccoli into the microwave towards the end of that cooking. And then um, I'm thinking this meal in my fitness pal is probably gonna be 500 calories or less. So I've had so far today breakfast, I've had lunch, I've had a snack, I've had a couple of bottles of water. So now I will record my dinner in the My Fitness Pal app. So I break it down by the ingredients of the meal. So first I'm going to search for 90% uh, fat-free ground beef. And once I find that, it's right on the top, 200 calories, I'll put that in. Uh, in the meatloaf, I used breadcrumbs. Um, it was a half a cup of breadcrumbs, so I'm gonna have just the tiniest little bit of breadcrumbs when you break it down to at least eight servings. So I'll, I'll probably divide up whatever I find in here for breadcrumbs. All right, so we're gonna take these breadcrumbs and I'm gonna make that like a half a serving or actually even a quarter of a serving. All right, next, I'm gonna uh, have a look for a baked potato. I had a pretty big baked potato, but I'm only gonna eat half of it because it's too big. So I'm gonna look for a small baked potato. Okay, so we got a small baked potato here because that's probably like the size of a half of a big one. And I'm gonna search now for um, some butter pats. I usually put like a slice or you know, a pat of butter on each half of a, a baked potato. So I'll put in two pats. And then I'll look for some um, steamed broccoli, which shouldn't be much calories at all. Let's see what it says. Alrighty then, we have, what, 24 calories. So we'll add that. And so it looks like my dinner in total was 451 calories. So when I look at the totals, that leaves me with 179 calories for the day. Okay, so my last meal of the day is obviously dinner. And I made a meatloaf and I have a baked potato and I have some steamed broccoli and just to save some calories I'll probably put just to give the broccoli a little flavor I'll put a little light soy sauce on there because not too many calories in that and then um, I'll just put a couple of uh, pats of butter on the baked potato 
and that's what I'll end the day with. I'm under my calorie count of 1400 and change, so if I get hungry later, it's, it's seven o'clock at night now, so I doubt I'll be hungry later, but if I do, I'll probably just have another little 100 calorie snack pack or a piece of fruit or something like that. Okay, hope you enjoyed watching. Um, if you like it, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Um, appreciate it if you'd subscribe. Um, good luck in your weight loss journey.